I would recommend work by Jonathan Haidt. Um, right. He's also based here at NYU. He's written a lot about this, about political thinking and how it relates to different personality types. Um, but there are certain personality dispositions that are drawn to diff certain political ideologies. So, for example, people who tend to be more conservative have usually greater disgust responses. So they're fearful of the other. Um, and which can lead to a certain worldview and, 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 and adherence to a particular um, political philosophy. Yeah. So I think people's innate um, personality dispositions can predispose them towards believing in a certain political ideology. And there, there have been these connections that have been made. And just people's brains work differently. And there's some neuroimaging work to show that as well. Um, differences between people who tend to vote more conservative versus those who are more liberal and, and open-minded. Open-mindedness is a personality trait. Um, so, uh, I would I would suggest looking up his work. Yeah. Is this another way to talk about uh, implicit bias? Yeah, I think so. I think that there are these implicit biases as well that are all in, tied into that. Um, people who are you know xenophobic and have this more, and even actually, um, it turns out that pregnant women tend to be more <laughs> afraid of the other because of fear of contamination, right? Mm -hmm. So you become more conservative um, when you're pregnant, and that's just an evolutionarily adaptive thing. So <laughs> I think, uh, but you know, to protect from yes, yes, you know sure. this idea of protecting from from germs or the unknown and, and protect the fetus. So so I think that. Um, the yeah. biases, but there are these implicit biases, and that can be related to the way people tend to, to, yeah. to vote. Mm -hmm. and you know, it's a very important question. It has a very, very long history, and, and actually, it, I think, is the question that in part propelled the invention of the idea of the mind, because um, what Locke and others were really, really concerned about was religious fanaticism. He, they saw around them in the uh, interregnum time where there all these Protestant sects people speaking directly to God, creating a sect, refusing to abide by the law. And of course, there were decades and decades and decades of inter-Christian warfare, bloodshed everywhere. So his notion was, we can't have a model of knowledge that is about absolute truth, because then one absolute truth goes to war with another absolute truth. We need to have a model that is provisional, so that knowledge is provisional, and everything we know is provisional. It's parochial, it's prejudicial, it's about what we learned, and P.S., get in there really early and teach the children yes. well, because that's going to be who they are. So he was very interested in, of course, early education and, and trying to create rational subjects for liberalism. That was part of his project.